everybody, it's Kelly, and I'm back with another layout today, and I'm scrapbooking with another photo reel paper today. Uh, I seem, I'm working on some photos, obviously, from that trip I took up to Lake Superior last summer, and um, they're just calling to me, but I'm loving that I'm actually able to combine them with photos papers that are not photo real. So that's what I'm doing here. I have that green paper, which is from Bella Boulevard, the Bella Besties freehand graph dot paper in guacamole. And I'm going to combine it with this reminisce family story paper. It's the Our Family paper, but it has, um, it does have a, a, um, a family history sort of um, thing on the back, I think with the tree, if I remember correctly, but it's just pieces of um, the ends of wood on the front and that's perfect because we were in the far north woods of Wisconsin actually on the shores of Lake Superior and we went to a couple of restaurants that were just so north woods and I think that's something that you kind of have to live here to understand but they're very log cabin like they've got a lot of wood in them you can see the top two photos are from the first restaurant called um hoop and holler which was darling lots of wood inside local brew um, beer um, great burgers and sandwiches and then the bottom two photos are from another restaurant that the restaurant itself on the outside was not great looking it was like a really nondescript banquet hall but um they had these windows out to the back and there was a woods in the back and they fed bears so when we first got there this mama bear and her two cubs you can't see the other cub it was way off to the right but this mama bear and her two cubs were there actually eating when we got there so that was amazing and it's stuff we used to when i was a kid we used to go to dumps, garbage dumps um, up in the North Woods when we were up there for a summer vacation with my grandparents. And we'd go to watch the bears at the dump from our car, which was just crazy. <laughs> you, know, you, just, you just wouldn't do that anymore. Anyway, so it kind of reminded me of that. And then on the menu here, there were these really funny um, cocktails, old fashioned cocktails like grasshoppers and brandy alexanders and golden cadillacs pink squirrels things i remember from when i first started having cocktails when i was 18 because that's what the drinking age was then because i'm so old but anyway so just lots of fun things these were this was with my high school friends so lots of vintage um reminders of the past uh, were in here. And I just, I, these two restaurants were just so cute. They needed to be documented. So I've added some um, label stickers from uh, Ellie Studio. And then I have this bear sticker and then this frying pan with a fish on it. And that is from the Cartabella, the Great Outdoors collection, the element stickers, which is the collection I used last week, but I'm using the stickers this week. I'm liking the fact that, um, that I have that frying pan because it it is a um, you know restaurant based sort of layout. So it's kind of fun to do that. I wasn't loving the well, I needed something up at that top left. So I decided to really balance that with the stickers on the bottom right. So I'm adding in the frying pan down there or up there and thinking about this um, flower here. I did add that bear on the bottom left as well. I forgot to um, say that because I was doing other things at the time. Just to kind of add that in. It's funny because he's holding a camera. <laughs> and then I'm adding this little floral sticker here to that bottom. It needs something, but I'm not loving it. It's so light and the top is so dark. Um, it feels very out of balance to me. So I'm tapping because I'm thinking I'm going to put a like something up there, but I'm thinking my title's going to be up there as well. So I'm adding in some flowers there. And I put that, I did put the bear up on some foam tape just to give him a little dimension. The, if the frying pan isn't already on foam tape, it will be. I, I didn't catch that as I was talking and looking at different things. Okay, so like I said, not loving the darkness on the top and the light on the bottom. So I'm playing around a little bit with flowers to see if that's helping. I took off that one flower and did the smaller flowers, pulled them off the side of that top cluster off the right and put them on the bottom and adding another kind of the same flowers on the bottom there. 
and I'm watching a show. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going through, I believe I'm going to find, yep, letter stickers for the title. I found this really great vintage alphabet from Enamel Dots, the mini markets in orange and cream, which work perfectly with these papers um, and the stickers. Definitely a vintage feel there. And oh man, I think I talked about this last week or earlier in the week that I um, loved the October afternoon and missed them. I still have a ton of these mini markets and really need to get more intentional about using them. They're great for tight, small titles like this or some titles, and I just don't use them as much as I should. I'm going to call this um, Chow and Charm because these places were so charming. <laughs> so we got to eat and see, and it, and it was a little charming um, eating spot as well. So now I'm going to look for some enamel dots here. And I'm using the Alta New enamel dots in Forest is the name of this collection. I don't remember if I did this. Um, I went on camera, but I actually flipped the cluster. Uh, there you go. I flipped the frying pan and the um, floral cluster on the top to get rid of that dark light issue I was having. So there's this still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you guys are all well, and I'll be back with another layout soon. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.